On October 2nd, 1997, Captain Holanda dies. The official cause of death is asphyxia, but it is not clear if the death was accidental, suicide, or perhaps murder. According to colleagues, Holanda did have a history of mental illness and had attempted to kill himself before her. Yet others who knew the captain say it could not have been suicide. His co-pilot, Pinon Frias, suspects that he may have been murdered. Holanda would never take his own life. I can't accuse anyone of anything either. But he would never tie a rope around his own neck and lie down hanging himself. But A.J. Jevierd disagrees with Frias. He took his own life. That was his decision. He was depressed. But what I know is that that man left us a very important message. Is that we are being visited. And the Brazilian Air Force, which means the Brazilian government, knows about it. In March 2004, A.J. Jevierd and Marco Petit decide to take action. Six years after the captain's death, they demand access to the classified Colaris report under a campaign they created called Freedom of UFO Information Now. This kind of information that we are talking about, I believe as a UFO researcher and as a citizen of Brazil that it should not be restricted to the military files, to the military headquarters. It must be known by all society. In the Air Force archive, Jevierd and Petit will find these sketches and photos made by Holanda and his team. Records that have been hidden for over 30 years. On May 20th, 2005, Brazilian ufologists A.J. Jevierd and Marco Petit and a handful of other UFO researchers arrive at Brazilian Air Force headquarters to examine classified documents they have pressured the government to reveal. These files contain information about the 1977 military investigation called Operation Saucer. Jevierd and Petit believe the records contain data about UFO activity on the island of Colares. The brigadier, he said, I was being given an order from the commander of the Brazilian Air Force to open to you all files. You can watch everything that you please. But in fact, the two claim they are not permitted to see all the documents about the incidents. These are some of the photos they examined. Out of more than 2,000 pages of text, 500 photographs, and over 15 hours of film, they are only permitted to view 110 photos and 200 documents. The materials are both illuminating and puzzling. They reveal that the Brazilian government devoted a great deal of time investigating the sightings. They document numerous statements given by eyewitnesses. The files contain more details than the ufologists had ever imagined. Jevierd and Petit are not permitted to view the films contained in the files, but they do uncover photographs taken by Captain Holanda, the head of Operation Saucer. The grainy black and white photos show bright lights high in the night sky. In ufology, a picture is not worth a thousand words. You have to analyze the report of the people who took the picture. Captain Holanda's voluminous report contains sketches and descriptions of his alleged encounters with alien aircraft. We had access to several documents that described the encounters in detail, including reconstructions in the form of drawings, not only of the cases that involved the military, but also the cases that involved the residents. 